this baby face, Britt Baker, started the fight, got her ass kicked, even though she had a weapon, and was totally laid out and killed, not even by the person that she's facing for the title, but by her henchwoman. This was one of those deals where the hottest it ever was was when Mercedes was in the ring and Britt made her big return and they had a stare down and that's all you needed to do. All right, everybody, it's Brian and nobody else show here. The song says sometimes other people, but in reality, sometimes it's just me. I was packing. For some reason, I thought, do I have headphones at the beach or not? Now, a normal person would say, well, I don't know, so I'm going to bring a pair of headphones. Well, clearly I'm not a normal person. Pretty sure you can figure out what happened, and that is that I got here and there's no headphones. So long story short, uh, I'm wearing now a $10 pair of headphones, which may not even last this show. God damn it, we barrel on through. She opens up her shirt, you know, to show her bra, and then Madden shows his chest. And, and Mansoor's like he's confused about who to be attracted to. And then she turns around and she bends over in the ropes. And then and then uh, Mace turns around and he bends over in the ropes. Man, it feels like this gimmick has a shelf life. And uh, it's over for me. I don't know about the rest of the fans. Everything about this segment was basically a disaster. This babyface, Britt Baker, started the fight, got her ass kicked even though she had a weapon, and was totally laid out and killed, not even by the person that she's facing for the title, but by her henchwoman. I was absolutely baffled. This was one of those deals where the hottest it ever was, was when Mercedes was in the ring, and Britt made her big return, and they had a stare down, and that's all you needed to do. His uh, contract is up like any time. You know, next thing you know, he's the trios champion. And then as soon as he said that he wanted the Ring of Honor tag team titles, and I knew that his deal was up, and obviously Cody is the champion in WWE, and there's like so much you could do with Cody and Dustin, especially with the Bloodline feud and everything. I was like, this dude's winning the Ring of Honor tag team titles. It was Bucks FTR last year. You don't need to do the same match again. If you do a claim to the Young Bucks FTR, I have nothing to do on the show. So I think this was the best call. Do a three-way. What non-famous thing should Brian and Vinny make sure to check out when he is in London? Because Brian and Vinny have, is, of course, one person. Danny Hernandez says the McDonald's menu. <laughs> Get a Royale cheese. I should have is. asked, like, what is there to eat that's any good in England? That's what I should have asked. Matt Heeks, for the complete UK experience, try something from Greg's. You can't go wrong with a simple sausage roll. What is a sausage roll? What's it rolled up in? Like, the pigs in a blanket? Sure. I assume it's probably like intestines and that type of roll. I'm not eating that. Are you kidding me? That's what we're talking about? I assume so. That, hmm. That's what sausage is stuffed in, Brian. No, I thought I thought it was like... not. That, I didn't think you were talking about the sausage was stuffed. I thought the sausage was stuffed in something, like a... It's a sausage meat like wrapped a, in a puff pastry. You know, a, oh, see, exactly. I'm telling you, sausage is stuffed in intestines. <laughs> all of them. <laughs> Every time I eat sausage, I mean intestines? Yes. I don't buy that. Oh my gosh. I think people tell you that to make you eat less sausage. Brian, I worked in a butcher shop. Well, that's fine. Seven years. Yeah, and we used to make sausage, Brian. Well, that's all fine. Now the sausage I eat. <laughs> I don't eat intestine <laughs> sausage. You kidding me? There is no other. Good. Oh my gosh. That sausage is really good, though. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You guys, you guys do realize that, like, when you eat steak, you're eating like a butt. Sure. Okay. Yeah. So what's wrong with a little intestine? You're the What's one wrong with an organ? With it, What's me. wrong with eating an organ here or there? Granny, what do we got today? Oh, is it my turn already? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> Pictures I frozen. actually watched Friday Night Smackdown. Kevin Owens versus Grayson Waller. You're you're frozen right now because you open your notes. Can you? I'm not coming back on. Uh, can you shut that window and then we'll uh, we'll revive I would, you? I just did. Let's see if Jared oh. can revive your camera here. Okay, you just stole my mouse. Yes. We are remote controlling you. Apparently unsuccessfully. What is the proper name for an angel which is more than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees? Oh, an angle. Obtuse. An angle. You're right. An angle, not an angel. He was right. Obtuse. Okay. All right. Well, Granny, we're going to wrap it up. We got to talk some NWA. All righty. That sound good? You want to join us? No. Okay. Well... <laughs> 
We'll I see you things. next Tuesday then. I got things to do. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Fix my dinner for one. The DNC okay. is on. Oh, yeah. Oh, that. So Don't anyway, uh, go Don't cook your dinner, it. Granny. <laughs> go cook that dinner, okay? <laughs> we'll see you next time, all right? <laughs> we watched that one so we could see what NWA was doing as WWF was building to the biggest show of the 80s, WrestleMania three. Just like today... The WWE is kicking all kinds of butt, and uh, AEW is hanging in there. This was so much like an AEW show. Really? It was. It was like okay. all matches. Sure. You know, there were a bunch of collision-style squash matches. The interviews were excellent. Oh, yeah. And as far as, like, the big show, it's like you go from watching WWE in these giant buildings full of fans... And then you watch NWA, and it's in a tiny little studio Soundstage, with yeah. 50 people there. And it was just, it was actually amazing, the, the similarities between between then and now. Like, if you, were a, if you were a wrestling fan, NWA was like the show you were going to watch. But if you wanted the pomp and circumstance and big stars and big angles and big shows, like, that was WWF. Sure. In lieu of the normal introduction i am going to channel the well-known infamous roast of brian and lance oh my that... god <laughs> i vaguely remember this lance was a champion in virtually every company he has appeared in while he did hold the distinction of holding three titles that angle fizzled out faster than his podcast killing the town Wow. I now remember <laughs> this utter disaster of a roast. Let's get Lance a chair to sit in. And as we do, could we also bring someone up here to show him how to use it? <laughs> I remember that chair shot. I, remember I don't remember who it was the on, but utter I silence it. that this roast was met with. Tom, at least I was smart enough not to do those chair shots again. <laughs> Brian, besides me, there are others. Who I'm sure dislike you, like Vince Russo, Eric Bischoff. But I think you're great, like a guiding light or a father, which is why I'm not surprised when you screw me every week. The best-selling author of the Death of WCW, he had just completed his new book, mm. for which actually Lance Storm wrote the foreword, which is three more than most wrestling fans know. Hideous atrocious it must be hard when you look so young if i didn't know better i'd say you had your grandma's jeans but actually if the camera panned down i bet lance is wearing them anyways let's start the show naya's carried to the ring on a throne what was up with uh naya's crown well usually it fits and sits around their head she's but, a large head but the crown was wider than her head She's a but small it head. Somehow sat on her head without touching her head. It was bizarre. It's a magical crown. Carmelo went for the La Mystica. Andrade went for the message. It's actually it not ended. the La Mystica. It starts like an a La Mystica, but the La Mystica is actually a submission, and he doesn't land in the submission. He just does the whole slam uh, part uh, uh, and then jumps okay. up. Yeah, the okay. La Mystica oh, is whoa, whoa, a tilt-a-whirl head scissor into a Fujiwara armbar. Into a Fujiwara yes. armbar. The, the La Mystica is not the submission. Do not tell me I didn't say that, that. was a submission. I said the La Mystica involves the tilt-a-whirl face buster into the submission. <laughs> the whole thing. <laughs> Why are you so angry? Well, you just because changed what you what said. You said. Lied, right? <laughs> yeah. No, That's he doesn't lie. land in a submission. He just slams <laughs> them. So it's not a La Mystica. I believe that's the, the actual move. Okay, but, whatever. Yeah. Who cares? I just hope Editor Sean pulls up the exact <laughs> clip of you saying La Mystica is yeah. a submission and then denying it afterwards. La Mystica is actually a submission. I didn't say that, that was a submission. La Mystica is actually a submission. I didn't say that was that. a submission. Editor Sean, why is Grayson Waller out here wrestling in his sexy silk boxer shorts? And he's out here in his underwear. You've got to be comfortable, Lance. He's a boxer. Yeah. That's his gimmick. Kind of. So he wears no, his that is boxer his gimmick. briefs, underwear? I think he thinks he's a boxer, but I'm not sure he actually is. LA Knight then came out. 
Essentially, he's going to knock Santos's little churro in the dirt. Wow. That's just not right. Does L.A. Knight always give the middle finger while he holds the microphone? Never like, noticed. Like a, yeah, I never noticed Yeah, that. he holds it with his finger pointing out the whole time flipping the bird. Well, you know, it reminds him of, of who he is. <coughs> who is he? Steve Austin. <laughs> That's what I thought. Was this the match? I think it was. Where Montez Ford actually sent to commercial break. He did the dive and then looked at the handheld and said, we'll be back after the break or something along those lines. Yes. It stuck out to me because a month or so ago, I don't know, a while ago, Sammy Callahan did it on our show. And I'm pretty sure we edited it out. Ah. Because I'm like, how would he know we're going to the commercial Because he break? watches wrestling. Well, he wouldn't know the exact Yeah, he time would. You, everyone well, knows. You get that big dive. That's when they go to commercial. They show slow motion replay, whole nine yards. It felt like we almost got Solo versus Roman without them having to actually do it. They fought over the Ula Fala, or whatever they're called, and had this great, exciting segment where Roman looked like a billion dollars, and then they did the, the heat angle to make Jacob Fatu look like a fucking machine killer. And got heat at the end. I thought this was just a super strong segment. There was no doubt, absolutely no doubt, in my mind. I'm sure there's probably no doubt in anyone's mind that they made the right call because Zack Saber Jr. was fantastic. What do you think about the G1 winner not taking the title shot at the dome? Like it. You got to mix it up somehow. We see the same thing every single year. So my mix up was. Have Naito lose to somebody between now and the Dome. Because when the G1's over, everyone's like, okay, well, it's Naito versus Zack Sabre Jr. at the Dome. Well, mix it up a little bit. I, I think Zack Sabre Jr. defeats Naito yes. for the title. Mike brought up you end up in a situation where you have Naito, Shingo, and Suji, the three top guys from LIJ, all trying to vie for a shot at Zack Sabre Jr. And that's kind of the storyline going into the Dome.